Chapter 8. Elsewhere. All I'm saying is, I knew the way to the hospital. Did a head scientist with a head injury come through here? Thanks. Hey, how could I know the GPS was going to take us all over the town? I hope I'm not too late. Hey, you can't be in here. This man is being prepped for brain surgery. Moan. Doctor, yes, I am Dr. Jake Hardbones, brain surgeon. I need to interrogate this man immediately. He's a key witness to multiple crimes. Breaking and entering, impersonating a cake, theft, possibly kidnapping, and who knows, maybe even murder. That sounds incredibly newsworthy, but he needs this operation right now. So out, out, out you go. Whoever's behind all this means business. I hope Mango's faring better than I am. I don't want him to get hurt or worse. We haven't been partners for long, but I just can't go through that again. Nurse, scalpel, shall I draw a dotted line to indicate where to make the incision? No need. I'm going to eyeball it. Slice. I really hope I'm allowed to show this on YouTube. Wow, you really know how to chop a guy open. They should call you the chopper. The chopper. 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 Chop turn nine. Many moons ago, here I am, Jake Hardbones, backpacking over the Scottish Highlands, or should I say Dr. Jake Hardbones, as I'm on vacation in celebration of my graduation from brain surgery school. Aha! A village. Perhaps the townsfolk will let me pick their brains about my any local legends. Pick their brains? Ha <laughs> ha! Now that I'm a brain surgeon, I finally know what that means. Hello, I'm not from around these parts. This seems like a place with tales to sell. Say, well, oi, poke. You want to hear the story, do ya? Indeed I do. Even more moons ago, travelers came to this quaint village on a machine from the sky. It was a helicopter, chop chop. These beings probed her mains with their technology. It was a news crew filming a piece on breaded breakfasts. Chop, chop, chop. Hoping to chase the motor town, the local mystic cursed their flying contraption with rabies. That part's true. In the dark of the lunar eclipse, they got in their machine and flew off, never to be seen again. They were here maybe 20 minutes. Chop, chop, chop. But on nights like this, their flying devil can still be heard. Chop, 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 chop. And some say it hunts the hillside, waiting for victims to pass its curse on to. Who says that? I do. I say it. I said it just now. Weren't you listening? Cha cha cha. So, uh, has this rabbit helicopter bitten anyone? No, not yet. But beware, boy, for the next lunar eclipse is tonight. Dawn, dawn, dawn! Chop! Cha cha cha. Haha, it's just a lumberjack chopping wood. What a silly tale. Cha cha. It has gotten really dark, but I'm not scared. Huh? I hear that lumberjack again. Did I get turned around in the dark? Chop, chop, chop. Oh, wait, I've got a lay on my head. Chop, 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 chop. Click. Chop, 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 chop. Ah! Lunge. Chomp. Ah! Er, chomp, chomp. Two, we chomp. Twang. Shunk. Hey. Away, fall beast. Yike, 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 yike. You were bitten pretty bad, son. You need a doctor. I I am a doctor. Not just a doctor anymore. You're a werecopter now. That machine's curse is coursing through your veins. And that's bad news. Now, whenever there is news, you'll be forced to transform into a news helicopter to report on it. You have become Dr. Copter. Kapow! No! Doctor, the patient is flatlining. Oh, 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 boop, boop, boop. My fault. I knocked out the cord. Chapter 10. Meanwhile, all over town, Mango is tracking the chocolate microchips. Man, wherever this culprit went, they sure took the long way to get there. Beep, 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 beep. Wait a minute. Beep, beep, beep. Hmm. Well, the next time I'll drive. Fine, my license is expired anyway. Beep, 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 beep. Surgery. Beep, 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 beep. Mango, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be following the cake crumbs. I did. The signal let me right here. 
Well, not right here. It let me over town. Hold up. If the tracker led you here and the head scientist is here, then this was was an inside job. The head scientist was inside the factory with the cake and the invention. The cake must have been meant to sneak the invention out. What about Bob? Bob was clearly his partner who double-crossed him, set off the explosion as a distraction, and made off with the invention for himself. Hmm, I don't know. Drop that brain. Um, I really shouldn't. This man is the criminal. Wake up! Oh you were gonna steal the money ray thing. The cake was your idea. Confess! I confess. I know it was wrong. Aha! I ate some of the cake, even though it's not my birthday. It's true. According to his ID, today's not his birthday. And look, I sliced him open and found a slice of cake. If he was going to sneak the device out in the cake, why would he eat the cake? I don't think this mystery is solved yet, Brash. You're right, Mango. What are we missing? If only we had the tape from that news helicopter. Hold this. Wait! I happen to know that news helicopter, and if he were here, he'd want you to have this. Have what? Give me one second. Pop! Here you go. Uh, thanks? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to saving that man's life. Nurse, where were we? Well, I was eating this cake. Uh, but maybe we should put back his brain? Correct! And who knows? If I put this brain in just right, maybe the scientist will be even smarter than he was before. Ha ha ha! Wow, that would be news! Twitch. Let's get back to the bakery and watch this news footage. Brash, what's wrong? Mango, this investigation has me worried that something bad is going to happen. At the bakery? Brash, we're partners. I trust you with my life, so whatever you think will happen, Mango. The last time I went undercover at a bakery, my partner died. I lost one partner, and now I'm afraid of losing another. I'm so sorry, Brash. I didn't know, but fear is no reason to give up. We're investigators, not investigators. You won't lose me, and I won't lose you. You may think you've hit rock bottom, but you can go even lower into the sewer. Now let's flush ourselves down the nearest toilet and gator done. Speaking of the sewer, um, if you don't mind me asking, how do you get like this? I do mind, but now that you mention it, maybe my origin story will help you with your task. I wasn't always a tasty treat, but I always had a taste for justice. I was once a good guy, Gustavo, a crocodile named Daryl, but then a catastrophe changed all that. What the happened? I fell into a vat of radioactive cracker dough. I thought I was going to die. Instead, I became one with the dough. Machines rolled me out and baked me out into individual saltines. Then I was packaged, put on a truck, and shipped off to who knows where. Inside the box, I felt myself growing thanks to the radiation. Or maybe it was the wrapper rise east. I combined with all the other meat crackers and burst through the vacuum seal, forevermore to be known as Cracker Daryl? What? No, Cracker Dial, because I'm a crocodile. Though Cracker Daryl does kind of work. But no, if I went by Cracker Daryl, someone might recognize me by the name. As Cracker Dial, I could be any crocodile who fell into a vat of radioactive Cracker Dough and came back to life. Are there a lot of those running around? No, I'm all alone, Gustavo. Life since my evolution hasn't been kind. The transformation may have granted me the strength of a giant saltine, but it also made me weak to moisture and hungry vermin. Then why do you live in the sewer? It's full of both moisture and vermin. I might be the crumbling remains of a cracker on the outside, but I'm still a crocodile on the inside. Well, you will crumble no more after you get inside. And then come out of this baking mold. With your super dough, I'll be invincible. Soon, the world will bask in the fresh from the oven heat. A cracker dial. Rebaked. This one will make you more of a cookie, really. Or maybe a biscuit. Just get on with it, mustachio. Hmm. Ooh, that's cold. Lord. Now's my chance. Chapter 11. Back in the battered down kitchen. Okay, here we go. Ooh, down there. That's a reporter interviewing one of the scientists. I didn't see him at the factory. 
That must be Scientist Bob. Then the cake and the guy who ordered it show up. Now that I think about it, why was he in a raincoat when the sun was out? Beats me. And then the guard wheels the cake inside. Wait, go back! Enhance! Zoom, zoom, zoom. That guy didn't just deliver the cake, he got inside the cake. It was an inside job after all. An inside the cake job. Okay, so this guy in the cake gets wheeled into the factory, and then here we see Scientist Bob run out the front gate. I bet he's the angry scientist it's the security dude ran into. Bob must be giving the guy in the cake the ghost signal to set off the explosion. Jamboree! <laughs> Then the head scientist assistant calls everyone back inside and BOOM! There's a lot of smoke, can't make much out. Stop, freeze right there! Are those horns? Double enhance, triple enhance, give it all the enhance! That's a triceratops! Not just any triceratops, that's Houdino, the dinosaur escape artist! That means the guy in the raincoat was a hooted Houdino, an escape artist and master of disguise. Apparently, Junior Assistant Baker Marie, where's a store copy of the receipt for the giant birthday cake? Here. If he paid with a credit card, we can track where else he's been. Drat, he paid cash. How are we going to find him? Breaking news. All over the city, money is disappearing into thin air. This is CC Boring Stories and at the Action News Now studio. The city's banks are empty. Money go bye-bye. One minute the money was there. The next it was gone. Poof. It's like someone has a laser beam that can suck up money through walls. One thing's for sure, if your money isn't a safe, your money isn't safe. Great, now there's a crime wave. With that scientific breakthrough, Houdino doesn't even need to break in to make a break out. So if scientist Bob hired Houdino to steal that invention, how does that connect to Gustavo's disappearance? Oh, uh, which one of you is pretending to be Gustavo this time? I mean, Chef Mustachio is missing again? What? That's like so, Cray. Why do you keep texting, Snatch? On way, he too hot. Stay out kitchen. Sat S A B Bob. Could that be scientist Bob? Yes. And when the guard told us Bob's phone said Jamboree, what he actually saw was named Jab Marie. Bob was talking to Junior Assistant Baker Marie. You're in cahoots with scientist Bob. What's he need the oven for? Oven? What are you talking about? The big oven is missing. Medium oven. We have, like, so many ovens. You can't expect me to notice if one is missing. You only had three. And for some people, they're very easy to tell apart. Forget that. Where's Houdino? What have you done with Gustavo? I know nothing about no Houdino. And Gustavo, it was just an accident. Honest. We, we saw him fall down a manhole, and instead of calling for help, we did nothing. What do you mean, we? Ding, ding. Gustavo! It's a me... Chef Mustachio, I'm, I'm all right. Well, this mystery certainly solved itself. I guess our work here is done. Case closed. What? No, Mango, not case closed. There are still many threats to resolve. Ah, Junior Assistant Baker Murray. I'm so glad you're okay. Um, thanks. When I found myself in chains, I feared the worst. I had to bick and bick and bick and bick, and I was afraid I could bake no more. You'd be forced to suffer the same fate. It's good to be back and to see you're safe. So, Marie wasn't involved in your disappearance? No, Marie and Bob had nothing to do with it. Say, where is Bob? You know, Scientist Bob? Scientist Bob? No, Senior Assistant Baker Bob. He's my best employee. I trust Bob with anything. Except my secret recipes, which I keep up here. In your hat? Bleep blurp. Mango, look. Glance. You still there? Ding ding! Uh, stop right there. Mango, interrogator mode on. Boop boop! What were you and Bob up to? Talk! I'll talk, I'll talk! Bob was tired of living in Chef Mustachio's Machado. We wanted to start our own bakery together. But Gustavo keeps all his best recipes in his head. What about the ones in his book? 
The book only goes up to Eclair. There are 21 more letters for the recipes after that. The only way to figure out Gustavo's secret recipes is to reverse engineer them. But that takes more science than we had available to us here. And at the scientist factory, they've got all the science. That's right. When Bob and I saw Gustavo fall down that manhole, it was the perfect opportunity to put our plan into action. We didn't think that he was missing. We just thought he was stuck in that hole. So Bob disguised himself as a scientist to blend in at the scientist factory and deconstructed Gustavo's baked goods with science to steal his secret recipes. That's why he took the big oven. Medium oven. You mean that oven? No, no, that oven was with me. But I saw it at the science factory. The Bakermeister 2000? It's one of the best of three best ovens up on the market. You can cook up almost anything in there. I'd be surprised if the science factory didn't have at least one of their own. Zip, zip. So, was Bob working with Houdino or what? Who? Dino. Who? Dino. Who? Dino. Who? Enough. He doesn't know who Dino. Which means the connections between Gustavo's disappearance, Bob and Mar Marie's recipe thieving, and Houdino's cake shenanigans are just coincidence? I guess the general inspector's lunch was wrong. Marie, why would you steal my recipes? I thought you liked working at the butter down. I was in it just for the dough. And by dough, I mean money. And you bubbling gators will never catch senior assistant baker Bob. He's too smart for you. Oh, really? Tap, 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 tap. Coast is clear. Come back to bakery. It just needs toop, toop. I am deleting your poop emojis. Unpoop, unpoop. Aw, you're no fun. Soon, ding, ding. Whew, glad that's over with. Bob's tired of lying low. Good thing I just happened to run out of the factory with these stolen recipes right before the explosion. And with Gustavo stuck in that manhole, Baker Bob's is gonna have the best baked goods in the world. Marie Clamp. Oh, dang. Hi, Bob. Chapter 10. Chapter 12. Whoop, whoop. The police. That's two criminals down. Good job, partner. Now we gotta figure out how to catch Houdino before he robs the entire city. That triceratops will be hard to find. Houdino can easily blend in with a crowd, especially when he's wearing a raincoat. Indeed. Let's see if the suit database has any useful info on him. Suitpedia. Vroop. Houdino was a master escape artist. He began his career by performing daring feats of escape on stage. Breaking chains, getting out of handcuffs, escaping straitjackets, that sort of thing. But what he couldn't escape were low ticket sales, so he turned to a life of crime, mostly bank robbing. He won't pass up a steal and can't pass up a deal. There is no vault that can stop him, and no cell that can hold him. Houdino likes to break in, break out, and break dance. Well, Mingo, looks like to bust Houdino, we'll have to bust a move. And so, you gotta push it to pop it, rock it to lock it, break it to make it, believe in the beat. Who wants to show us their moves? Anyone? Huh, I guess those hot, fresh moves Inspector Vogue taught us weren't enough to get Houdino's attention. Well, at least we made some money. What? Our money's vanished! Houdino must have taken it with that money ray thing. Grrr. I was sure he wouldn't be able to resist a dance-off, but it looks like the only thing Houdino can't resist is money, even if it's small change. The only things left in here are lint and mismatched buttons. With that invention, robbing anyone is a piece of cake. Hold up. The thingamasteve only works on money, which means Houdino can't use it to steal anything else. Right. So what's the money for? He hasn't been caught any he hasn't been caught spending any it on anything. Maybe he's saving it for a rainy day? He's got that raincoat after all. Yeah, but with all that money he could buy anything he wants and then use a device to steal the money back again. That's just a good point. Houdino is not just shifty, he's also thrifty. We have to lure him out with something money can't buy. Love? No, something that can't be sucked through walls. Oh, I see where you're going with this. To catch this Triceratops, we'll have to set a Triceratops trap. And so, chapter 13, batter down, customer appreciation day. Get Gustavo's latest creation free when you present any receipt from a previous purchase. Be first to taste the PB and PB and PB before it becomes available to the buying public. I may have more money now than I could ever spend. No more money, but I'm not going to pass up something that's free. Eventually, thank you, come again. Enjoy your peanut butter pickle bacon pastry bun. I would never have thought so many people held on to their receipts. 
This one is seven years old. That coupon is costing us a fortune. At this rate, our bakery will be out of business by tomorrow. I think you mean we'll put Gustavo's bakery out of business. Oh, right. Ding, ding. Shush. This must be Houdino. Is that him? I can't tell with his hood up. I'd like my free PB and PB and PB, please. Wow, so polite. One cake, special order. Happy birthday, scientist. Especially for... Wink! A crook! Grrr! Slam! Tricera trapped! You won't be stealing money with this anymore. How'd you even know about this thing, Houdino? I didn't, but when I saw it on the news that all the scientists at the science factory were outside, I knew that place would be easy pickings. There's always some contraption that can be used for evil at the science factory. And handily enough, this one came with an instruction manual. It's dishwasher shave! And the rules with the cake? Everyone likes cake. Easy way in. Though I do like to make an explosive exit. Well, your exiting days are over. You lizards think this cage can hold the great Houdino? Nothing stops this Triceratops. Wham! Stack, stack, stack. Fold, fold. Wrap. Tie, tie. That's a wrap. How are we going to get him out of the store? Probably the same way the big oven was taken out. Medium oven. Wait, we never found out who kidnapped Chef Mustachio. Or why. That's the reason we were here in the first place. Gustavo! Gators, please tell me I can stop baking your crazy pastries. I did enough of that in the sewer. What happened to you? Start from the beginning. Well, I was born a poor farm boy. Start from your abduction. I was waxing my mustache while talking, walking to work. Then someone grabbed my leg and pulled me down. Huh? He was the most unsavory character, though. Maybe he'd be all right with a sharp cheese and some prosciutto. He was crumbling, half eaten. You're not making any sense, man. He forced me to develop a new type of dough. A super dough. A hybrid of cracker, cake, cookie, and bread. A hybrid. He made me rebake him in the medium oven told you. He must have stolen it when no one was looking. Gustavo, what, was he a cracker? Yes, he called himself Cracker Dial. No, not possible. Brash? What does that mean? Brash? Gustavo, what happened next? How'd you escape? While he was baking, I broke three of my shackles with a spoon. And then I had to do the most horrible thing. Crawl out of the sewer? No, I broke the first rule of baking. I left while the oven was on. You had to do what you had to do, Gustavo. Sob. It was a loaf or death situation. Hee hee hee. Ahem, excuse me. Sob. Brash, you okay? I think I know who this cracker dial is. Mango, it's time I told you what happened to my old partner at that bakery. His name was Daryl. He was Suit's top agent. I learned so much from him in our time together. Our assignment was supposed to be easy as pie. Daryl was going to retire. It was his last mission. But no one expected it to be his last, last mission. We were cracking down on a cracker company that was disposing of nuclear waste by baking it into their saltines. We cracked the case, but there was an incident with a cat. Daryl fell into the radioactive dough, whir, blub, blub, and was never seen again. Or so I thought, but he must have been alive this whole time. I could have saved him. It's all my fault. And now he's an evil saltine out for revenge. Yeah, yeah, I'd be salty about being left to die, too. Sorry, Brash. I can only imagine how difficult this must be. Thanks, Mango. But you're a great detective, and Mustachio's safe now. We can deal with Cracker Dial later. Something tells me his time will be up soon. Epilogue. Not far below. Tick, 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 ding! Wham! Ha ha! Baked to perfection! Gustavo, where are you? Escaped? Bah, I'm gonna eat you anymore anyway. Now then, I've be, been rebaked with super dough. I feel, I feel, I feel kind of normal, actually. I should feel stronger. What is this? Or what isn't this? I was baked with normal dough? No! Oh, boy! That was some surgery. Not quite newsworthy, thankfully, but still success. Thanks, Dr. Hardbones. I feel much better and even smarter. Hey, yo! Ah, you must be the investigators. Feeling better? Yes, thanks to the doctor. And thanks to you two for recovering my invention. Who knows what damage that crook could have done to the economy, but I made sure it won't fall into the wrong hands again. 
I've handed it over to the government. Well, I'm sure we'll hear about it, all about that on the evening news. Yes, this sounds irresistibly newsworthy. Ah! Huh. While Gustavo and his recipes are safe, a bunch of assistant bakers are in custody. Houdino is behind bars that are behind even more bars, and the world's money is safe from, ahem, <clears throat> criminals. Another job well done. But Mango, what about Cracker Dial? Even if Gustavo didn't use a super dough as a former agent of soup, Cracker Dial is still forced to be reckoned with. Listen, we're Mango and Brash. We're investigators. When Cracker Dial comes for us, we'll be ready for him. We'll get that cracker in a jam. He'll be toast. Well, we'll... We'll bring that crust to justice? Ha! Good one! The end. For now. Investigators, how to draw mango and brash. So you can pause right here to follow all of the instructions. I am not grumpy! Agent 6 has a PB and PB and PB, but he can't eat it without a mouth. Make a photocopy of this page and draw a new face for him that shows if he thinks it'll taste delicious or disgusting. And here's how to draw Sea Orb. This is from the Files of Suit Headquarters. Movie theater, library, computer mainframe, situation room, food court, arms division, pool, gymnasium, and garage. Mango and Brash will return. As will I, Cracker Dial, and I will have my revenge!